Medicare. Magandang hapon po kayo po ay nanonood pa rin ng espesyal na edisyon ng Kababayan LA mula dito sa Remis on Temple Gallery. At kasama pa rin po natin si Professor Enrique De La Cruz at pasamantala po tayong iniwan ni Professor Carol Ojeda Kimbro Ang kasama po natin ngayon ang may bahay ni Mr. De La Cruz. Si Mrs. De La Cruz at hindi lang po siya bastang Mrs. De La Cruz, isa po siya sa mga leader sa ating komunidad sa Philippine American Community at siya po uh, sa katunayan naging uh, isa sa mga commissioners ng LA City for some time. And she's here to join us as a leader herself. Pag-usapan naman po natin ngayon habang binabaybay natin ang kasaysayan ng Filipino Americans dito sa Amerika. Sino naman yung mga naging modelo, mga naging leader ng ating komunidad dito sa Amerika? Dahil ako po, lumaki sa Pilipinas, ang kilala ko lang po, si Lapu-Lapu, si Rizal, at si Bonifacio. <laughs> Would you like to start, uh, Professor uh, De La Cruz? Yeah, uh, one of the things that, uh, you know, the, the history of a Filipino immigration to the United States. It's really a history of labor. Kasi yun talagang ano eh, hanggang ngayon, di ba? Pumunta tayo dito mag para magtrabaho. No? Eh, ang problema natin at very early times, because when the Philippines got annexed by the United States, and the Philippines did not like being annexed to the United States, we went to war against them. We bitterly resisted that. So, we had the Philippine-American War. Malaki problema yun dahil kalaban. Tayo ay kalaban ng, ng US. No? And that's how we started in the American consciousness. Okay. At dahil po naging kalaban tayo, uh, ito ay nagbunga ng mga kahirapan para sa mga Pinoy. And one of that is yung perception ng mga Amerikano tungkol sa atin. Ano ba ang tingin ng mga Amerikano sa mga Pinoy noong mga panahon na yun? I think they looked at us as subhuman monkeys, uh, dehumanized, and they really didn't treat us as uh, people. For example, uh, Larry Leong is a, a role model of the labor movement. He was really the father of the United Farms Workers movement that was uh, now known popularly headed by Cesar Chavez, but he actually started the first Filipino uh, labor union, and he started the most successful strike in Coachella Valley. He started that, and, and his beginnings are very simple, Janelle, ano? Ano lang siya, uh, he actually finished uh, grade school. Grammar, ano, boy ang tawag sa kanya. He came here when he was 16 years old, and yet he had the, the wisdom, uh, and he also had his human spirit guiding him. And so he organized uh, farm workers, and he succeeded in getting uh, $1.10 wages per hour, increased to $1.40 an hour. And then also he he was able to change some of the conditions of work and living conditions of the Filipinos. Alam mo noon, Janelle, pinapa, they're only trying to uh, house the Filipinos in outhouses. And in yung pinagpupuntahan ng mga Pilipino no, to, 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 uh, to, for example, to relieve themselves is like a pit. Yung pit sa baba, sa ground, is already full. And the owners of the labor fields, you know, did not really care about the Filipinos. And so they said, well, don't dig up another pit, you know, for all you care. We we're, we're not going to do it for you. So the Filipinos did it for themselves, and they stood up. They reclaimed their dignity. And from that, they also organized other workers, not just themselves. So they went from Coachella Valley, and they were now asked to, to organize in Delano. But in Galeno, they were met with resistance by the Mexican workers. So what Larry Tlong did, and he's a very good communicator, he knows nine different dialects, ano? and the power of his collaboration and his communication, he went to see Cesar Chavez. Mm -hmm. And so he developed negotiations with him, and through a lot of faith, they were able to organize the United Farm Workers Organizing Committee. Okay. That's how it was called. All right, see, Larry Itliong, that's a new name to me. Ang palagi kong naririnig si Philip Vera Cruz. And Professor De La Cruz, anong, anong significance ni Philip Vera Cruz sa kasaysayan ng mga Pinoy dito sa uh, Amerika? Si Philip Vera Cruz, pareho lang yan ni Larry Itliong. No? Uh, silang dalawa, they, he, he and Larry, were the ones who organized the uh, American Workers uh, Organizing Committee, no? or Agricultural Workers Organizing Committee, or AWOC. Mm -hmm. no? si, si Larry ang pangulo dyan. And si, you know, si Philip, he was sort of the number two guy in that, in that organizing. And again, kagaya na sabi ni Prosy, uh, <clears throat> it was actually Larry. Kasi ang nangyari ganito, in 1965, 
the Filipinos, you a walk man, they called for a strike against the growers in in uh, Delano, you know, Bakersfield Delano area. Uh, ang mga Mexican noon, yung ano ni sa Cesar Chavez, which was the National Farm Workers Association, mm -hmm. uh, they were not sure they wanted to strike. Mm -hmm. At saka, ganito yan ano, yung dynamic dyan, ganito. <clears throat> yung mga Filipino, kung masama yung kondisyon, wala silang, wala silang ano, they have no recourse, no? Sila ang nagsimulang uh, magpakilala na hindi pwedeng basta-basta na lang ang pakikitungo sa mga Pinoy, uh, Larry Itliong and Philip Vera Cruz. Philip Pero hindi lang po yan ang dalawang pangalan na lumilitaw pag pinag-usapan ng kasaysayan ng ating mga kababayan dito sa Amerika. Marami pa pong iba at makikilala po natin sila sa pagbabalik ng kababayan LA. Don't go away. You love your pet but hate the nasty teeth, those foul gum, that awful breath, the brush, too much fun.